Well, the new school year is almost here, and in light of the recent and deadly Uvalde, Texas school shooting, we are taking a look at one local district stepping up security policies. Amy Steigerwald joins us live this morning from Bowling Green, and Amy, officers now have devices to enter all school buildings whenever they need to. Yeah, that's right, Tim. Starting this school year, all police officers in the city of Bowling Green will be able to access every single school building 24 hours a day. I'm told this is something that the district actually asked for uh, moving in to their school year starting in August. Now, officials with the Bowling Green Police Department tell me that some officers already had key fobs to enter select buildings, but now all officers will be able to get into city school buildings should there be some sort of emergency. While well, this is new for Bowling Green schools. Many districts like Perrysburg already have this type of security in place for their police officers. As far as Toledo uh, school resource officers, which are in those high school buildings, are act able to access those buildings at all times. Now, Lieutenant Adam Scaff with the Bowling Green Police Department says while they uh, they definitely don't take this new responsibility officers have lightly, it is their department policy that should there be any type of threat in a school building that the first officer on scene is supposed to immediately enter the building. Currently, um, and has been for the last couple of years, the first officer on scene, if there's an active shooter, is going to immediately enter that building. Um, this is not something that 15 years ago we would wait for additional officers. Our procedure and processes are that as soon as the first person is there, they're going to make entry into that building uh, and respond to the shooter or the active threat. Lieutenant Scaff added that Bowling Green police do regular active shooter trainings throughout the year and ha they have an updated one actually coming that they're going to put in place by the end of this year. Reporting live in Bowling Green this morning, Amy Stuggerwald for WTOL 11.